the head of his own style. And uh, via that, he, his teacher, whose name is uh, Toma Soke, as well as uh, Kisei Soke, who's another famous Okinawan um, martial artist, formed uh, something called the International Okinawan Martial Arts Union. And um, they gave him the, um, the so-called power, if you want to call it, to bequeath upon a person who studied um, authentic martial arts um, the, the power to uh, create their own ru, or they recognize the ru, okay? Um, and about, I want to say, actually, year 2000. Um, so about almost nine years ago, um, after I had uh, earned master level ranks, uh, at that time I, I think I was an eighth dan in um, his ru, in his system, which uh, is comprised of the samurai sword, um, aikijujuts, it's basically a, a whole style that, again, comprises many Japanese and Okinawan martial arts. After achieving that, my teacher felt that um, I, I'd make a good leader. And um, so actually it wasn't that I decided to nominate myself or decided I'm going to start up so-and-so. It's actually more of an honor, to tell you the truth, to serve my teacher and um, to uh, represent my teacher and teach my own system. It's very easy to stand up and tell everybody what to do, so to speak, as opposed to take orders. So um, anyway, my teacher felt that um, this was this is what I needed to do. So um, he chose a name for it, which is what, called Fukasa Ru. Um, Fukasa actually, if you look at the kanji, it comes out to deep sand, and um, which means profound. Okay, um, and I and I've been told that the reason why well. He, he, named, he felt that was fitting because the um, the do that I've studied, or the many, I've actually studied three different sword systems, um, are some of the oldest extant uh, sword systems out there. And uh, so, uh, you know, it was a fitting name for, for what I do. Um, so how much I've changed the techniques? Well, actually, um, I don't profess to um, have created any techniques at all. Um, I just do techniques that have always been done. And I may have, you know, I, I like anybody, uh, when they teach something, they, um, you know, put their own, their own feelings into it. Uh, like if you have three pianists playing the piano, the same exact notes, they're all going to come out a little bit differently. The feel to it is a little different. I don't actually change the notes of the techniques themselves. Now the stuff that I showed you today, for example, that was actually stuff that I learned. I, that I, I didn't create those techniques. And I don't really think any of the techniques that I do are of my own creation. Um, I think I'm just doing what, uh, you know, what I've been taught over the years. And, um, you know, you have your little nuance, you have your techniques that you prefer. And so you tend to maybe focus a little bit more on that. but. When I teach my students, I like to teach them everything so they can make that choice for themselves. And um, I, I'm a person who respects things of the old, and actually not so much things of the new. And uh, I, I uh, prefer to teach ancient techniques and do them the way they're supposed to have been done, and stick to the traditional way, rather than uh, do things, quote, my way. Um, and I would say the only thing about my, the way I present myself and the way I do things, the only thing that is somewhat modern is the way I tie my belt on the outside. That's the only thing I would say that is different. And the only reason why I do it is because that's the way my teacher does it. And so I, I follow his way. And I think it's fitting because we tend to, the traditional way is to tie your obi below the hakama, but then what's the sense of wearing a, a obi below the hakama because you can't see it? So how would you know the person's wearing so that's the whole idea about wearing an obi, actually, is to be able to differentiate in the dojo between A and B. Um, and so that other than that, I, I, I really don't do anything that I wasn't uh, taught or anything, you know, new. You know, I, I don't create any, any really new things. It's all been done before. I haven't really done it before. So, any other questions? All right, well, this would be a good time. Anybody time check? Yeah, yeah. I know. But what time is it? I'm just curious. Two minutes. 425. Okay, great. Alright, so let me do a little like you guys. Itai, come on.
So actually, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm throwing them up, and I'm going to get my swords out of the way. Don't worry, I'm not going to throw them on my swords. And um, I'll do it kind of the same way. I'll, I'll show you my stuff, and um, I just, I just want to, I just want to tell you that um, I'm not going to throw them into the audience. I promise. Uh -huh. And uh, don't be surprised. Uh, and that knife that he's going to, you know, use on me, whenever he's going to use it. Uh, if it flies, it's it's rubber. So don't worry. All right. Nobody should have any heart attacks or anything. It's a rubber knife. All right. So just let me wrap this up and I'll get started. Wow. 